I'd say, I mean, the, the ambition for the show and the scale for the show was something that from the very beginning, we were encouraged to push the limits as far as they could go. Every universe is different. I'd say, I mean, the the ambition for the show and the scale for the show was something that from the very beginning, we were encouraged to push the limits as far as they could go as storytelling, um, you know, and as a medium um, uh, of animation, you know, we were, we were told to try and push that as far as possible. Um, we were uh, in, in dreaming up a lot of these creative ideas. There was never anybody at the studio saying no. Don't, don't go there. You know, Kevin Feige would get to the end of a screening and he would tell the, the crew, you know, I have no idea how we're actually gonna pull this off, but keep pushing it. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I think that as you see more and more episodes, you're gonna see just the, the broad variety of things. Um, having come from um, purely 3D um, animated shows before, um, I think that working in 2D um, animation has been very liberating um, because you can get a little bit more scale and scope um, in, a, in a show. But it's it's truly, we think, uh, one of the most ambitious and probably impossible to produce uh, shows ever made in animation. Um, so I'd, I'd say that it's, it's amazing that this show came to life. <laughs> it was impossible to make, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and and if, if any studio that could could have pulled it off, it would have been Marvel. And and I think that they've they've done an amazing job making this show. I I love it. Um, you know, it's it's interesting because I've been talking a lot with a lot of different people, and working with Marvel is a dream come true. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. But I, I think one of the most astonishing things about it is the love and support you get and how much everybody loves music and how much everybody wants to help you make your music and how much everybody supports what you're doing. And um, that's incredible. It's an incredible feeling and it's a, a rich history to participate in. And I'm just super glad to do it. Um, no, I would, I'd say that um... We feel it has been a tightrope walk as a show. It is, it is a, um, a show that's designed to be telling new stories and trying new flavors for Marvel. Um, but we've been doing it with an incredible crew. I mean, we have an amazing director, Brian Andrews. We had amazing writers, Ashley Bradley, Matthew Chauncey, um, and so many other wonderful, lovely artists in every department. Um, you know, and all of that led by the fearless leadership of Marvel Studios. I mean, we had Kevin Feige and Victoria Alonso and Lou Despacito and Brad Winderbaum. They they really um, create an amazing creative environment that I think makes it possible for filmmakers to do their best work. It, it's, it's truly been a joy to work at Marvel Studios. Um, I think that it's, it's one of the most incredibly well-led and uh, creatively streamlined companies. I, it's 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 an amazing place. Yeah, they're just good, healthy people. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's more of a question for you. Yeah, tell us now. <laughs> I I personally enjoy uh, the most when we when we really swing uh, for the fences when we when we really push the stories as far as they can go. You know, I personally really enjoy how how Thanos is in uh, how he shows up in episode two. Oh, yeah. It was so surprising when I got that script and I thought, wait, what? <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> um, you know, and I, and I loved, uh, you know, the way that we kind of turned Korath's uh, character 
uh, kind of on its on its head, and and um, you know, Jaime and Hansu had so much fun with that character, and every, every one of the cast members that has come in when we kind of give a fresh spin on their character is like, hey, in this world, you know, it's a little bit different. They've really, really enjoyed exploring new versions of these characters, um, you know, kind of across the board. We just want to we just want to see a couple of characters sitting across a table at a diner together and just you know sharing more stories. Yeah, um, that's. <laughs> we have we have so many amazing action sequences in this show, and they're so complicated to pull off. We're like, can we just have a conversation, just the whole episode? <laughs> Journey to face the unknown. 